Well, for a long time, we thought it was probably a dinosaur similar to Dilophosaurus, which would have been the top predator at the time during the early Jurassic of Connecticut. And again, as you can see on the fossil, it's big and it has these three toes, and the one in the middle is the longest, and it looks like kind of claws at the end. So that makes sense that it would be a theropod dinosaur because that is what their footprints look, tend to look like. It's also possible, however, that it was a big sauropod dinosaur because we now know there are a few species that could move their feet in that way to create the same footprint. We also have two other smaller footprints that we find here. This is Anchisaurus, and it's um, a medium-sized footprint. And, but similar shape, um, tridactyl, which as I said before, three toes, so that's what tridactyl means. And you can also see the claw marks and you can even see the toe pads right here, these big circles. And then we have Gralator, which is the smallest of those footprints. And it has that same pattern of the three toes with the toe in the middle being the longest. Gralator is probably um, made by a theropod, a small um, theropod dinosaur, and this is probably like a fast-moving, running dinosaur. Um, we still, of course, don't know for sure because we weren't there when the tracks were made, so we can't know for sure what animal made them. Um, but we knew, do know that all these animals were living together at the time, and it could be that they were... Um, different life stages of the same dinosaur so the large small medium footprints are different ages or maybe they were different dinosaurs and maybe some were meat eaters some were herbivores we don't know that for sure but um, it is really cool to see that we have all these different size footprints here at Dinosaur State Park and then we have this footprint which is probably different from the other ones, and this is called Anamephus, and Anamephus is probably an Ornithischian dinosaur, so that's a separate group from the theropods, which is fall under Cerishian. Ornithischian dinosaurs are all herbivores, and so that means they eat plants. We also have many fish fossils preserved around Connecticut, and they're in the layers above um, our tracks at Danish Dinosaur State Park, so they may be um, a little bit older than the footprints. So as you can see here, there's scales clearly preserved, and it's dark colored fossil, so it's likely um, carbonized, which is what happens when the layers press together, and all that's left is the carbon, everything else, has been um, gotten rid of. And so you just see the, the shiny material here, which preserves the scales. So everyone loves to see the Ubrontes footprints when they come to Dinosaur State Park, because we have this big dinosaur walking where we're walking today in Connecticut. But the most important takeaway that we have from this is that we have this whole ecosystem preserved here. We have big dinosaurs, small dinosaurs, meeting dinosaurs, and herbivore dinosaurs. And then we have fish, plants, other animals which aren't dinosaurs, and it's all found right here in Connecticut, which is why Dinosaur State Park is so important. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day.